Las Vegas is known for its variety of hotels and casinos, so of course we're going to say one more can't hurt. This new resort is going to attract so many locals and visitors, and we are lucky enough to have the first look into this beautiful space. So we are here at the Durango Hotel and Casino. It has a total of 83,000 square feet of casino space, 2,200 slot machines, 200 rooms, and so many different dining options from a food hall to some really fancy places. We are located in the southwest part of town, off of Durango and the 215 freeway, which is a booming part of town. And we're only about 15 to 20 minutes away from the Las Vegas Strip. Okay, where's the food? So first things first, we're right here in the lobby, which is very pretty, but my favorite thing is all this seating area right here. Like there's not many hotels that you can have a place to lounge around while you're checking in. And the design itself is very chic. It's very desert oasis. Now, one of the first places we spotted is Bel Air, which they said is a lounge and it is so pretty. Oh my God. Oh, look at this pool table. I really love the design of everything in here. This is a beautiful bar. Oh my God, look at that chandelier. Look at the fuzzy chair. I love how beautiful this fireplace is right here. Perfect for winter, but if you have summer on your mind, go this way. So they opened this space right now, and look, the pool is right here. This pool is really chic. If it was the summer right now, I'd be in the middle right there by that waterfall. Should we go sneak inside the pool? Okay, you guys convince me. Oh, and I brought the Lydia with me. Hey, I'm the Lydia. Oh, this is nice, dude. Dude, this pool is huge. Huge! I like, I like, I like it all. I would definitely get a cabana here. Look at these day beds right here. Touch it. Oh, that's cold. I see tables and uh, this is for a special event we're going to today. You guys will see. But yeah, this pool is really beautiful. It feels very retro, very 1950s. Yeah, definitely photo shoot vibes here, guys. Oh, and here's the hot tub over here. Oh, that is a nice hot tub. It's like very European. And of course, can't forget the bar. Ah, that's cold. <laughs> okay, let's go. You're gonna get us kicked out of this hotel, Norma. <laughs> Here's a beautiful casino, which honestly, these look very high-tech machines. Some of them even look like video games, really. Oh, look, here's everybody signing up for the player's card. So it looks like they did officially open the doors already to the public, so it's about to get packed right now. Oh, this is nice. You guys know every casino has to have a central bar, middle of the casino, and this one's really nice. And many TVs, you guys can watch whatever game you want. So it looks like we found our steakhouse here. We have Nico's, Prime Cuts, and Fresh Fish. It is still nine in the morning right now, so definitely not open yet. Probably gonna open maybe around five o'clock. So the steakhouse would look really nice, but I see the word Mexican, so that must mean food. Oh, you found your spot. Oh, mijo, which is like saying like sun, kind of, yeah. And I love all this brick right here. Ooh, I like this. Is this real? Oh, it is real. Yeah, this is so nice, wow. So, uh, you come around here a lot? Oh, look at this room. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's like speakeasy. Do I follow him? I feel weird. Oh, that's Come a mirror. On. So you guys heard it here first. There is a speakeasy here. Definitely very bunny theme in here. Ooh, and I love the chandelier. Everything is so red. This is so private in here. That was a very nice speakeasy. What did they say? Tuesday to Saturday, they're open at 6 p.m. and they have a vinyl DJ. How awesome is that? Ooh, and this is the actual restaurant. I like, this feels very modern, very like manly vibes. Oh, and they have an outside area, too. I would do speakeasy first, then come to dinner here, and then enjoy the night out in the casino. So far, it looks like all the restaurants in here are very aesthetic, and the one I've been dying to see is called Summer House. Just the name itself sounds so pretty. Oh, hello. I love that the first thing is, as soon as you walk in, is like just these rows of cookies. They look delicious. Norma, I found the one I want you to buy for me. Yeah. That looks like sugar until next week. That one looks actually kind of good. This is California Beach Aesthetic. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Even though the Durango is known to be like a desert oasis, even having summer house here, it still has like very nature vibes for sure. Oh, and of course, we gotta have some outdoor seating. Oh, I can feel the heaters. Yeah. And I love seeing the random trees here in the middle of the seats. I wanna have a girl's brunch here already. 
Uh, but we should look at these menus. Speaking of your guacamole, they have guacamole here too. And you can add Dungeness crab to it. That's so cool. And lots of veggie stuff here for the vegans. Ooh, all the salads look very fresh, very healthy. Okay, forget the healthiness. I also spotted that they have an angry crab bucatini pasta. Pizzas. Ooh. Taco sandwiches. Oh, and a couple steaks there at the bottom too. You know, because we know you girls are going to drag the guys here and we need something for them. Oh, they have all the spritzes. Ooh, a frosé. With April and strawberry puree. We approve. We're going to come back. 100%. So I feel like we've shown you guys enough restaurants, but not enough food. So we're going to go to a spot that is already open this early in the morning. And we're going to get a few bites here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. I can't even count. I feel like there's more than 10 in here for sure. But we have to get what most people are excited for, and that's pizza. Take me to the pizza. Oh yeah, look Ooh. at that naughty pie. This one looks real good too. And the spicy vodka, right? Okay, literally everything looks good to me, so I don't even know why I'm talking. Vodka sauce. Oh man, I feel like we need to try it. <laughs> how, many, how many pieces of pizza are we getting? So it was $6 for the slice and then $6 for the square slice. So we're gonna go ahead and try the pizzas from Prince Street Pizza, came from New York, straight out of Brooklyn, and now they're here in Vegas. We got two of them. We got Naughty Pie, which has hot honey. And this one has the vodka sauce. I was like, vodka? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh my god. It's hot. There's a ton of cheese on that one. Ooh, I love the cup pepperoni. Uh huh. And the pepperoni is filled with hot honey. Sauce is good. Yeah. Ooh, I do like the honey in this one. Right? I don't know if I've ever had a slice of pizza with vodka sauce instead of like marinara. It's good. Oh my god. Honestly, every slice that they had, really good. Yes. And just them making the pizza right in front of us. Oh my god. Amazing. We approve. Burgers next and fries. Wait, did you get ketchup? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I see you're ready to go. <laughs> so next we're doing Herb's Burger and they have a lot. They have burritos, they have sandwiches, they have hot dogs, they even have like milkshakes. They have a lot. And they say they've been open since 1946. That's crazy. So we got their classic right here. This is the Herb's Original Roast Side Burger. You're gonna have your patty, toasted bun, cheese, herb sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles. And for a single, it's only $8, which I feel like is really reasonably priced for inside a casino. I want a pickle. Is that? Okay. Fries are good, too. Mm. That's good. I like the herb sauce. It's kind of like a mayo-y, mustardy sauce. Next time, ask for extra sauce. Mm -hmm. So the food hall here is called Eat Your Heart Out, and they have so many different like little stalls. It's impossible to almost count. I feel like there was almost 10, including the bars, so. including the dessert. They had so much. They have sushi, they have noodles, Italian. The line at the Hawaiian spot was incredibly long. They have an oyster bar, which that line was super long too. Of course. You know what I like about this is that a lot of these places are local spots, like Shang Artisan Noodle, Neil. These are local favorites. I like that. And uh, I think we know what's gonna go great after this burger. Can I get a single vanilla? I'll do a uh, chocolate. $8.34 for two? That's pretty good. Thank Whoa. you. I like the little cup holder thing. I know. It's so cute. Thank you. Enjoy. So we got Nielsen's frozen custard. They are very known here in Las Vegas for sure. And I know I, I just got vanilla, but I tried their vanilla once and I was like, Bomb. Cheers. Oh yeah. Creamy. Yeah. And it has like thickness and texture to it. Mm -hmm. This isn't your McDonald's ice cream here. Best dessert. Now if I had more room I would come for one of their concretes because you can mix a bunch of different things in there and it's like a blizzard. Ooh, and I love how moderately priced they are. Mm -hmm. This is actually $3, yeah. $4. Perfect amount of ice cream trail. Yeah. Everybody is literally gambling today. The slots are filled. And then speaking of gambling, let's check out the sports book. Oh, wow, this is cool. I like the green. Oh, lots of, ooh. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen. Oh, that's so cool. So look, it's that and it's like on the inside too. That's so cool. So they don't even need like individual TVs. They're just all around. I mean, even the main screens right here are really big as well. Oh, and they have, it's outside too. They have so many games. I love it because all these games look very old school. 
right? Yeah, look at the wood pins, the wood cornhole. And strangely enough, it is December right now and it's 70 degrees. So right now this feels amazing. Oh, it feels amazing out here. I don't know about January and February. That's mm. a whole different story. Might be a little chilly. <laughs> you know, one of my first impressions of the Durango is I love how many outdoor spaces that they have. Like you have the option to eat and play inside, but then you can also come outside and enjoy the natural lighting and the fresh air. So good. She sucked. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> so, it is currently noon right now. Um, I say let's transition to nighttime so we can try some of these nighttime places. It's nighttime. And yes, I am still wearing the exact same clothes that I was wearing in the morning. But yes, I wanted to come back at night because I wanted to show off one of the dinner options and show off some drinks as well. And I think we really did like the summer house options that they had. So I wanted to show you guys that and you know, just show off what the vibes are here at night. So what's funny is that, again, we are in the middle of December. We're outside, but it feels actually really nice right here because of the heaters right there. Maybe a little bit of fire coming from the outside. It's really nice. That's good. It's kind of airy, but then it has like a soft interior. Yeah, it actually kind of reminds me of those Brazilian cheese breads, like at the Brazilian mm. steakhouses. Yeah. But like a little crunchy on the outside. Yeah. Those are good. That is a very nice texture. Let's have another one. It's cocktail yes. time. Yes. I feel like we haven't had a cocktail time in a minute. We have to get some of the most aesthetic, beautiful, with the nicest ingredients type of cocktails here. So this is the beautiful lavender haze. This one has the aviation gin, blueberry, and lavender. You guys know I love gin. This is very much a Norma drink, and I have ordered a very much Lydia drink, which is the Desert Spritz, which comes with grapefruit, Prosecco, and soda. This Super grapefruity. This just tastes like a blueberry lemonade, wow. All right, you know I I'm not a, a big gin person, but. I think you'll like it. Oh, oh yum. I actually really <laughs> like this. I really like this too. I can taste the gin a little bit, but it's not overwhelming at all. Right, like a blueberry lemonade. Yeah, 100%. And even though right now it's the middle of winter, having this lovely spritz is great. It does its spritz great year round. It almost feels like we're in a summer house. Give me my drink back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my nachos. So we kind of ended up getting like, it looks like an appetizer and then like an entree, but as our meals. Right. But they look really delicious. So this first one in here is the ahi tuna and watermelon tostadas. And that's gonna have avocado, Thai chili, and a crisp corn tortilla. And it looks like the ahi tuna right here is like a little bit on the raw side, which is- Yes. Like Make sure to squeeze a lot of lime on mine. And then of course we got some crispy fish tacos right here, which is in the light tempura batter along with chipotle crema and guacamole. Lime, lime, lime. Oh, it's a juicy life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's guacamole underneath it. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Let's put Securing more. it to the table. You can taste like oh. the watermelon at the end. It has like a fresh little watery mm -hmm. bite. <laughs> Everything here makes it makes you feel like you're in the middle of summer. Yeah. Taco time. Lime it up. Oh, oh. I like the chipotle crema. It is very nice. I do want to try it now with this. Oh, I like that salsa. I like that salsa. It has like a mm -hmm. definitely extra creaminess. Mm -hmm. And I love how light they are. Like they don't feel heavy. I don't feel like I'm going to be rolling out of here. It's, like it still feels healthy. Summer house approved. So I would love to stay and have a few more appetizers, but we have an event to go to. Ready for more cocktail time, Lydia? Come on, cocktail time, baby. Durango style. What are you getting, Lydia? Hey, <laughs> hand it over. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa! How y'all doing? What's up, bro? So as always, guys, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. When are you coming to Durango Casino? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Bye. Bye. Durango's open. Is there 
one more time? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, and uh, I brought the Lydia with me. Of course I'm not gonna piss, do it again, do it again. Touch it. No. <laughs> the water! <laughs> oh, the water. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, oh shit, sorry, one more time. Okay, so it looks like we found our steakhouse here. Nico's fresh, fresh. <laughs> so it looks like we found our steakhouse. Dang it, you can't see shit. So far, it looks like all the restaurants Careful. are here. Ah! Here you go. <laughs> but not enough food. So we are gonna go to a spot that, yeah. Sorry, say it again. Wait, what's Dr. Ink? Oh, it's drink. <laughs> Okay, I'm dumb. Is that on camera? Uh, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> I didn't actually. This is not the end. That's really bad. Uh, Don't think about it. Ready? Okay. At the same time. Okay. Uh, so we have to get some of the most. Wait. Just a little bit. <laughs> We are located on the southwest part of town, which is, ooh, why am I fucking up? Cheers! Cheers. 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 